Good morning, my name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear. I am a reader and a writer. Thought I would try something a little bit different and do a vlog. So there are two readathons going on that actually started yesterday on the 13th, but I was still finishing another book, and that is the Aurelium Girup readathon and then the Draconathon Mini Bingo. I'm participating in both. <laughs> um, and then at the end of this week, we have the Worldwide Writers Writeathon. So I have chosen two books for my the three prompts. I'm only doing one dragon book for the Draconathon. And then I have the two prompts for the gear up. So for Draconathon, I am going to do Spine of the Dragon. And we'll probably start this today because it's a little bit chunkier. And I expect that this will probably take me all week. And then for the Aurelium gear up, one of my prompts is a crystal and I have chosen brimstone and I did look it up and I will post a picture of what a brimstone crystal looks like. And this is by Sherry Priest and it was something that I tried to pick up years ago and it was on my currently reading list on Goodreads, but I don't remember anything of it. So I'm going to restart it from the beginning, but I'm also planning on starting this today and see how it goes. So. I will check in later. I promise this is not another one of me driving. Um, it was fun to kind of experiment with that though, but it is after lunch and my husband was awake. So he talked to me for 30 minutes of my lunch and then went off to read his book and he's reading The Cruel Stars by John Birmingham. One of the ones I finished in the last couple weeks. I really enjoyed it. And so he picked it up on my recommendation. So I got to read for about 15 minutes. I started Brimstone by Sherry Priest, which was my intent. And I, so I've only read the first chapter and kind of scanned a little bit into the second chapter. And the first chapter was written in first person, but as a journal entry, kind of setting the world and expectations. And then the second chapter was also written in first person, but it seemed to be happening. It, it seemed to be action, not a journal entry. So I am very intrigued. And as, as in the... the as intrigued that I am, I am surprised that, I mean, some, this book must not have just clicked right away for me last time I tried to read it. And that's, but I had read enough that I really wanted to finish it because I put it on my currently reading list on Goodreads. I don't know. So I have started two of my three books for this week and I'm hoping, no, I'm not hoping. I am planning to start the third one after the second job tonight when I take my bath. So I hope that one clicks with me as well and then I'll have three really good reads going on this week. I will check in with you later. Good morning. Today is the 15th of March, so Tuesday. And I'm just calling to report. I got to read a little bit more of Monster Huntress before going to my second job. And I'm really getting similar vibes to Alana the first beginning, besides the red hair, uh, the female heroine. And David Wiley has even said that this book is more middle grade, and it's on that cusp of middle grade turning into YA. Just spunky, someone who needs to be a go-getter. And yeah, like I said, just give me vibes of this, and this is still one of my favorite series. Still read at least once a year today, or yeah, still read once a year as of this date. I also started this last night, uh, read the first two chapters. I was not expecting multiple points of view from different aspects of the world from the synopsis. So I was a little confused when the second chapter started. But um, I don't know. The dialogue is a little stilted between characters, and so I'm not qu 
quite sure how I feel about this, but I'm not at a point where I would be like, nope, not interested to read it anymore. So I will continue finding out because there is some interesting things going on. There was a lot of info dumping to set up all the world's politics. And I think that was a mistake because it was giving too much information before we need it. So here's on to the next day of all my reading. Now I will check in with you later. Good evening. Just checking in before I kind of go more to sleep. Um, I've been reading more of Brimstone, which is about it. Well, so this is a historical fantasy set in Florida. And it's about Alice, or it's about, it's about two main characters, Alice Dartle and then Tomas Cordero. And Alice is a clairvoyant and has magic, and she's come to Florida to join a community that also has magic so that she can learn more. And then Tomas is a war veteran. This is set in 1920. So he's a war veteran of the First World War, dealing with PTSD. And his wife died from influenza before he got back. And so he's still grieving that as well. And now he's been dreaming of fires, and fires have randomly been happening at his home with no clear indication of how they could be starting. So. They both are still separate, but I know eventually they will meet up, and I am really enjoying this. Good morning. It is the 17th of March, and I'm here with an update. Um, I'm about halfway through Brimstone and really enjoying this. It's very compelling, and I wish that I had more time just to sit and read it. Hopefully tonight. We have a guest coming, but I don't think she's going to stay too long, and so if she doesn't, then I just plan to read this the rest of the night. I have also decided to DNF my dragon book. I'm just not feeling it. So here's the thing, like when I read a synopsis, like a synopsis makes me a promise. And the first chapter was following with that promise, but then the second chapter completely went off in a different like thing, as is my habit. If I'm not sure about a book after a few chapters, I will go read like the ending and see if I want to get there. And I don't. And I don't know if maybe in the future I'll pick this up and try it again, but as of right now, I'm, I'm just not interested and I don't have a lot of time or energy that I want to put forth towards a book that I'm not interested in and then get into a reading slump. So I'm going to DNF this for this week. I'm still also working on Monster Huntress by David Wiley. Um, that is, I'm reading it on my phone, so I don't have it physically here. And I'm really enjoying it. Again, I'm only able to read it a little bit at a time, mostly because I'm reading it in between doing reminder phone calls at work. So, and yesterday my husband needed the phone because he doesn't have his own, so he has to use mine. And so I wasn't able to do that. So I'm still at the very beginning of it, but hopefully I will get to make more progress on it today. Good morning. Today is the 19th of March. I have my breakfast and the Worldwide Write-A-Thon has started. And also, I actually have multiple uh, windows open. This is the writing stream. Oh, that's just there. Oh no, oh no, I lost the social stream. I'll get that back up in a moment. I had the social stream up. I think I closed the wrong window. But I also have the ending of the Draconathon up as I am eating breakfast and listening to those lovely ladies. And last night, I finished Brimstone by Sherry Priest. So I have finished one of my Aurelian prompts, which is exciting for me. I have one more Aurelian prompt to finish because I did enough my book for the Draconathon. <laughs> That's okay. That's one dragon book then I know that I'm not interested in in the future. So even though it's the Worldwide Write-A-Thon, I'm using it more as like pro productivity sprints and I'm getting everything that I want done. And so I'm actually getting set up to film my week 11 wrap up. As at the same time, I have the other streams playing on mute. That way, you know, they get their views. There's just so many there that I don't think that I would actually go back and rewatch everything. I don't know, maybe, but, uh, my books, my wa 
water. You should get the water. Water needs to be filled up. Water is now filled up. And... Oy. Trying to get comfortable. I have a box on the bottom shelf that sticks out, so I like to put a pillow or a blanket between me and it so I'm not poked while I'm filming. All right. And now we'll film our week 11 wrap up. All right, so I just finished filming my week 11 wrap up and I am going to actually use the sprint time to work on editing a, another video that I want to come out before my wrap up. So that is what I shall be doing. So I didn't get very far into editing my story because then my husband asked me to go for a drive with him and so we went and checked out some of the county. He's running for a county election position this year so he wants to make sure he knows everything there is and it was a fun long drive and then we stopped by a game store and looked around and saw all these fun things that we'd like to buy. But I am now back and picking up on my editing. Okay, so I finished my video and now it is uploading and I have pulled out my stack of handwritten papers that I need to transcribe and let's see if my external hard drive has popped up. It has! And my long list of Scrivener files, which pretty much everything that's in there has something that's connected in here already. So that is my next project for during this time of the Worldwide Write-A-Thon. Yay! Hi! Today is the 21st of March and I am closing out my Read-A-Thon or closing out my Thon vlog. Yesterday, I got to participate in the Worldwide Write-A-Thon. I was a co-host with Phoebe, and that was a lot of fun. I didn't do a lot more vlogging on that day or checking in because I found that I need my Sundays off, and so I tend to pull back from YouTube on Sundays just to have a day of rest, refill that well of creativity, that sort of stuff. But I've had a lot of fun. For this vlog, I finished Brimstone by Sherry Priest, I DNF'd The Spine of the Dragon by Kevin J. Anderson, and I am still reading Monster Huntress by David Wiley. This has been a lot of fun. See you later.